Hey guys, Ralph here. True Power Trumpet Fitness and welcome to a wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Beautiful, beautiful winter day. January 2nd, uh, about 30 degrees out, sun's out, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Anyway, let's get to it. You saw the thumbnail. I'm going to give you the secret. If I haven't given it to you already, I'm going to give you the secret. You're going to love it. <laughs> you guys already have it. <laughs> it's been with you the whole time. Anyway, I have played quite a bit. Let's see what we got. All right, double C's that get easier every day. <laughs> Not a mark anywhere. Cut myself shaving. And a little handle, air. Beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Uh, I've done that in church dozens of times, and it's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, I want you to hear something before I tell you what the secret is. Okay? It's somebody you should know. And it's somebody spit buzzing. Check it out. That's the secret. <laughs> Check it out. Breathing out. Uh, Sounds like. Uh, you see? Okay. You know who that is? You might have recognized the voice. But that hideous spit buzzing followed by a, a, a tone with no center whatsoever was none other than Wynton Marsalis. Guys, that's why his chops are down. Guys, spit buzzing is it. You hear the difference in my spit buzzing? Is? Now granted, the sound isn't great. There's so much more compression. There's so much more power. There's so much more center. It's not even close. That's why his chops are dying. You throw in a that god awful, god forsaken Monet trumpet, and there you go. Now, genius, virtuosity, unbelievable. Chops at this point in his career, not so much. Guys, the spit buzzing is it. Now, I played that not to knock wind, not to knock wind at all, but to show it, show you guys. Hang on, turn off the sound. It's got to be done correctly. You can't just spit buzz like that, and you're going to get a tone like that. See what I'm saying? Very, very important that you spit buzz correctly, okay? That you keep the corners relaxed, little air. Before that, he just got talking, was talking about taking a big breath of air, like you're yawning. Oh, oh, guys, that's why he sounds like that. There is no compression at all. None. Genius virtuosity. Genius jazz ability. Got it. At this point in his career, does not have great chops. It's all wrong. Okay? The tongue. If that's your bottom lip, and that's your tongue, it presses against the tip. The tip is no is out of dormant. Okay? Up here is where you, you are articulating. It'll feel like it's at the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Guys, that's it. If you can't do that, 
you stretch it. That's what Witten is doing. Okay, and again, this is not a knock at Witten. This is not a punching bag. I just happened to be fooling around with the internet last night, came across this and said, oh my God, you heard it. You heard it. Tone, power, range, and endurance with Witten is not happening anymore. It's not happening anymore. He plays no classical solos live whatsoever. Does not front his band. His chops are down. And look, nobody, nobody's more distressed about that. Though. I'm not saying I'm greater than, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this guy's genius is being absolutely clouded, masked by deficient chops. So easily he could change it. So easily he could fix it up. But it's not going to happen. Anyway, spit buzz, spit buzz, spit buzz. Guys, it takes everything, everything out of the equation. Just holding the horn, putting the mouthpiece on the lips, playing. It takes everything out of the equation except the tongue. Guys, let me ask you this. Every single day when I get here, just about every single day, I'm going to say about 70% of the time I haven't played a note. Why do you think I can go right up to a double C without warming up and then go down and play a beautiful handle lyrical passage without warming up? I did warm up today, but you know what I'm saying. Number one, I'm not beating myself up. Everything is relaxed. And I am completely 100% relying on the spit buzz. The spit buzz is what makes you play. And if you can't spit buzz correctly, you're not going to play correctly. Now, a lot of times, and I'm guilty for this for a long time, years ago, spit buzz one way and then put the mouthpiece to you and all of a sudden it changes. Guys, it's got to be the same thing. With my hand, I'm making more sound than many people do with the trumpet. With my hand. Okay? Guys, spit buzz, spit buzz, and spit buzz some more. Incorporate it definitely into your practice. Definitely into your practice. Well, I don't have time to practice. You have time to spit buzz. You can do it in the shower. You can get 20 minutes in on the way to work. Guys, you can spit buzz... By yourself, you can turn on the classical station and spit. Got the jazz station, spit buzz along with it. Guys, it's that is it. All you're doing is taking this big old hunk of brass with the most valuable mouthpiece known to creation. And putting it onto the spit buzz. And I'm spit buzzing behind the megaphone, which is the trumpet. Guys, that is the secret. Not if you don't have time to practice, if you don't have time to warm up, you do have time to spit buzz. You're in the car going to the gig, you can do it. You can be all warmed up. Now, when it gets to the point, where you don't even need the spit buzz to warm up, then you got it. But if you need a little bit, now let me ask you this, I get sidetracked. When every one of you spit buzz first thing in the morning, try it. The lips feel sore. They feel stiff. Probably not. The spit buzz is, is so much better, is so much more dependable than anything else. You get the spit buzz. It's centered, pure, with tone and power and perfect intonation. Then you just put the trumpet. The trumpet's easy. You just put it up and you move your fingers. It's as simple as that. Guys, I know you've heard it before, and I know you're a little disappointed with the thumbnail, but that, my friends, is the secret. <laughs> That's it. It's not as glamorous as you thought, was it? I've already told you. You've known it. Guys. If you, if you can only practice a half an hour and you can do another 20 minutes spit buzzing, it doesn't have to be all at once, five minutes here, five minutes there, 20 minutes there. 
your warm-up time and all your child problems. If you have the 1SS, 1SB, or 1SC, all your child problems, if you have that mouthpiece, are going to disappear. Disappear. If you spit buzz properly. You heard an improper spit buzz, and you heard what an improper tone it, it promotes. Okay? That's it. Give me your comments down below. Also, my 30-day health and fitness challenge is on the tr True Power Health and Fitness. This is day two. We did meditation on day one. We concentrated on food today. Guys, check it out. I guarantee you, if you, and again, you can start 10 days later, but just start at the beginning and do one video a day and faithfully incorporate everything that I tell you in that one day. It's just a tiny little thing I give you each day. At the end of the month, 30 little tiny little things that you're going to incorporate is going to make a huge, huge difference in your health. Huge difference in your health. Lose weight. Type 2 diabetes, it can be gone in a month. Obesity, gone. Heart disease, gone. It can happen if you dig in with that. I'm making those claims. I'm sticking by it. Love you all. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power.